Like I said, guys, this is just water. There's a lot of it. I guess I should turn it off before I done that. Or I wouldn't have got soaking wet. We're gonna get that drained out. Then we'll be ready for our fertilizer. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go out here in the field. There we go. And we're going to see if we can get our uh, concealed knives set at the proper depth. Because I plant, I plant a lot of cotton too. And that was the last crop we had planted. And I raised the concealed knives up considerably. Because we want to plant cotton like uh, three quarters of an inch deep, and uh, we're planting corn two inches deep. So we're gonna go out here, unfold the planter. Maybe it's dry enough we can at least try to get our depth on our gauge on our conceal wheels right. So I'll show y'all what I'm talking about about seal knives. See this knife right here. That's that's what's actually putting the fertilizer out. And I am I am testing some knives for precision this year. Uh, these knives right here are a hardened surface knife, and I've got four of them I think on this planter that I'm beta testing for deer, and the rest of them are regular wear. But what I'm looking for here. You can see the seed trench, and you can't even see where the. Well, yeah, you can too. Let's back up here a little bit. Yeah. You can kind of see where the knife blade ran right here. And right here. So it's not. The knife not very deep but we're not very deep in the ground right here anyhow this ground's super hard right here where i'm at and i didn't i tell you what i need to, i need to set my down pressure and stuff before we do this time because i didn't even have the down pressure activated now to think of it i need to set my down pressure and all of that Well, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about with these uh, with these closing wheels right here. I want you to look at this right here, how tilled up this is, and there is no seed trench there, none. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's no seed trench. There, yeah, you, you can see it. Those closing wheels are the best closing wheels I have tried. Which we got the furrow force right here. And the furrow force does a pretty good job. You can see it's stitched it up. Let's see if we can find a seed trench. Nope. No seed trench there either. So it does a good job too. The only difference is these 
or two hundred and sixty dollars a row, maybe. Thirteen hundred dollars a row. Yeah, big difference. Does the same thing. But here's another here's another shot of it right here. No sea trench. Totally destroyed it. That just caused me. All right, we're gonna try to get her down for a set. What's it look like, Tommy? <clears throat> See where you, where you tracked and where you went through, but it ain't deep deep. You got a scratcher? Yeah. <clears throat> right there's one fertilizer mark. <laughs> and I think that's the other one. Cause there's the closing wheels. Yeah. And we're not planting guys. I mean, we're just testing right now. But you can see that furrow force destroyed that sidewall. Yeah. Here we go. We can see a little visual right here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there is the fertilizer trench. And there's the seed trench. Two ain't even hitting the ground, look. Yep. Why is that? This one ain't even hitting the ground. that you can see that fertilizer now the trenches of the fertilizer right here we definitely got to do figuring it just we need to let the air down in these tires too Tommy they don't need to be for 25 pounds of these tires okay. these are the new VF technology tires and you run these tires at low air pressure to get a bigger footprint 
but I think we still got some air in our Delta Force or something. Cause we got some roads that ain't even touching the ground right here. We're gonna have to run another health check or something. We got something going on. All right, guys, we still making some minor adjustments and changes. This is where it all starts right here, guys. You got to make sure that you get this planter perfect. It can't be close. I mean, close only counts in horseshoes. It don't close. It, it don't. It don't matter in trying to break 300 bushel. You've got to be dead on. But I have never seen so many flies and gnats today. They're, they are off. Tommy's gonna swing it around. We'll look at it one more time, then we're gonna take it up to the shop and uh, make some minor changes and adjustments. We got it. We got it just right with a depth on it. If anything, I might need to go down one more round, but I think we're really, really close on it. The, the knife, the knives look good. The knives look good. The fertilizer knives, they look good. Everything else looks good. We're going to get this thing cleaned off right here, get all this crap off of it, and then we're going to pull it back up at the shop and uh, make some minor adjustments, and uh, then we'll bring y'all back with us. we got these VF tires on here, and you're only supposed to run like 25 pounds of pressure in them while you're in the field. That's the whole purpose of these tires, uh, to uh, eliminate compaction. That's the first year we run them. But we got them pumped up real tight, so we're going to have to uh, let some air out of them. Watch me lose the valve there. Yeah, we can get this 
right here. Manny Shore is beautiful today. Yep. It's the only thing I hate about an ENT planter is the tires being between the rows like this. Yeah. 